Well, the 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 cowboy myth grew up starting after the Civil War when there were there there are always cowboys. But what's funny about cowboys? One quarter of them were were people of color, um, either African Americans or Hispanic. Um, they were the bottom of the occupational distribution. They were the hired hands of uh, the of the cattle industry, and yet they've been made into these knights, which comes across very clearly in what my favorite co cowboy movie called Shane, which everyone should see. Shane, Shane, I love the movie, and it's it's the heroic male side of the American character. Uh, uh, a similar mythical character that uh, is e exposited first in novels as the cowboy myth was um, and then, then, then develops into movies is the hard-boiled private eye. That's, that's another of these genres. And there, there, there are ways that men can understand their lives as lives of courage and independence. Um, and it, the, the problem is that this myth, which has its uses in making boys into men, also can, also can corrupt them. If all you have is courage, if all you are is a thrusting, two-fisted cowboy fighting with people all the time, then you're not a complete human being. And indeed, in Shane, there's the, Shane himself is a more complicated character than, the, than that, simply. Um, and certainly his uh, friend, who's the, who's the uh, farmer, especially in the novel as against the movie, is a highly bourgeois figure. He's in the business of farming to make money to support his family and to have a good life. Um, and it's, it's not just this uh, gunfighter um, mentality. So I, in a way, that movie Shane has the message as some of the cowboy movies and the hard, a few of the hard-boiled detective stories do, that there's more to being a man than courage.